Hello students, I am Dr. Harpreet Singh. Today we will be talking about a very controversial and also an interesting topic, biceps and biceps labral complex pathologies. So, uh, what is controversial about biceps? Uh, almost all the things about the long head of biceps we are talking about. It's, there's a lot of controversy about its main function. What does the long head of biceps do? What's its main role in the shoulder? The various pathologies, how do they present? How do we diagnose them? And how do we treat them? There's lots of controversy about this. So we'll try and uh, remove those controversy and simplify the things about biceps. So, where does the long head of biceps attach? So, we talk about scapula and if you look at the glenoid, so the long head of biceps attaches on the superior glenoid tubercle along with attachment on the superior labrum. So, it is attaching to the bone, the superior glenoid tubercle through the superior labrum. But it is this attachment through the superior labrum, this attachment has a very variable anatomy. So, it is different in different individuals. So, it can, the, this attachment of the superior labrum can have a meniscoid like attachment to the glenoid tubercle. So, what, what is variable? It can have a meniscoid like attachment or there may be something called a sup, uh, through the superior labrum, there may be a presence of what is called as sub labral recess. So, what is sublabral recess? So, the, the attachment of the biceps and the superior labrum onto the bone, onto the supraglenar tubercle is not very firm and there is a gap, a smooth gap uh, which is known as a sub sublabral recess. Usually, it is a small gap, maybe 1 to 2 mm and how do you differentiate from a pathological lesion is that it is smooth, there is no fraying, there are no frayed edges of the labrum. There is a smooth transition from the labrum to the gap and to the glenoid. So, this attachment of the uh, long head through the superior labrum is variable in different individuals. So, it is not that it is constant in everybody. So, that is why when there is a tear of this part, that is there is a tear of the biceps attachment to the superior labrum, what we know and uh, uh, also uh, call as a uh, slap tear. We do not know what was the original uh, anatomy like. So, if we go and repair that, we may, we may, uh, we are already, we are, uh, Although we are trying to restore anatomy, but since we do not know what was the original anatomy like, we may end up deranging the anatomy, so de and which may lead to a deranged kinematics for that person. So, this variable anatomy of this region uh, leads us to uh, not being able to deal with this pathology in a very coherent or in a very simplified way. What you need to remember is the anatomy of this region is diff different in different individuals. So, uh, if we talk about the function of this sup long head of biceps, we are talking about basically long head of biceps because this is the uh, part of biceps which goes intra-articular. The short head of biceps is just attaching on the coracoid process. So, it does not go into the joint but it is a long head which goes into the joint. If you remember the anatomy, uh, this is a left side scapula. I do not have a left side uh, uh, humerus, but if you take it to be, if you make this like uh, right scapula and this as the right humerus. So, when the biceps travels, it travels in the intertubercular sulcus between the lesser tuberosity and the greater tuberosity and then goes up 
through the joint and attaches on to the supraglenoid tubercle so it travels this intra articular part so what are the main functions of uh, this long head of biceps it is said that it uh, acts as a humeral head depressor also uh, there is it gives uh, some power to the flexor function of the biceps though the main flexor uh, power comes from the short head and the although the main flexor of the elbow is your brachialis but whatever function of flexion of elbow is coming from the biceps tendon it's mainly from the short head the long head has very uh, limited function it may give some power to the flex flexion role uh, at the elbow at the shoulder it does depress uh, the humeral head give uh, so humeral head depression function and some amount of stability in a unstable shoulder so these are the functions not very important but yes whatever the functions the literature tells us are these so what are the pathologies which can occur in the long head of biceps so you have to remember that most of the pathologies of the biceps tendon are usually secondary pathologies there is very rarely a primary pathology of the biceps tendon what do i mean by secondary pathology is that these pathologies are secondary to any other disease of the shoulder so the biceps may become involved in as a part of impingement syndrome or as a part of adhesive capsulitis or as a part of a fracture of the shoulder or some other disease process so usually biceps pathologies are secondary to other shoulder pathologies so what can be the biceps pathologies biceps pathologies can be they may be tendonitis or inflammation of the shoulder very common in other pathologies like impingement syndrome in pathologies like adhesive capsulitis so as part of the inflammation in these process the biceps tendon i am talking about the long head of biceps that also can become inflamed so there is tendonitis of that uh, long head of biceps the biceps tendon can be ruptured so it will uh, the long head of biceps ruptures from its attachment and classically presents as what we know as the popeye sign so clinically it will present as a popeye sign there may be biceps instability or which may present as a subluxation or dislocation so biceps is not in the groove biceps tendon instead of in being in the groove it slips out usually anteriorly most of the times it slips out anteriorly because of some associated pathology usually uh, it's a subscapularis tear so what are the causes of biceps instability there may be a pulley rupture there may be a rotator cuff tear like a the tear of subscapularis or there may be some 